Welcome back. And this is going to be a video on things to help you get through any type of a situation. Now, given the fact that the Texas power grid was 4.37 seconds away from total collapse. Imagine that, folks. Total collapse of their grid. And it would have been down for weeks or even months from what all the experts do say. That would have been 29 million people without power for a very long extended period of time. All right. More than 14 million people during that whole situation were without water. You got to have water, folks. Water is the main thing that you need to survive. Okay. And you had 14 million people that didn't even have any. I did a video on you know, what happened with the Texas thing and all that showed a bunch of pictures and stuff. And it's just, it was devastating. You know, you also have to remember the grand solar minimum started in 2020. It's going to last through 2053. Okay. And the decades between 2031 and 2043 will be the ultimate worst. Don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but this is what you got to plan for. So this video here is going to show you a lot of different things that you're going to want to make sure that you have to make sure that you can survive when all these different types of catastrophic events are going to start taking place that we have no control over. This has nothing to do with anything with the government or any this type of stuff. National, national catastrophic events which we can't control or stop. So stay tuned and I'm going to start to show you some of the products to give you a great idea where to start. You can add all kinds of things to this. All depends on what your budget may be. So here we go. When it comes to a catastrophic event happening and you're in harm's way and you are staying put, you have to make sure that you have some way to cook. Number one, all right? And you also have to make sure that you have a backup. As you can see right here, this is a Coleman stove, okay? This Coleman stove, yeah, I've had this thing for years. It still works great. Now, my backup to my Coleman stove is this Gas One. Now, the Coleman stove runs on these propane tanks right here. These are one-pound tanks, but if you do buy this here adapter, you can hook this right up to a 20-pound propane tank, 50-pound propane tank, whatever it is you may have. Your, your lantern here also runs on these tanks and it will be connect to this hose here and you can have light somewhere, wherever you need it. Now, this gas one runs on butane. So you buy these butane little canisters right here. So you have a backup. You have an oven here that connects to your Coleman stove. And this way here, you could do even some baking and stuff in a grid down situation. So if you wanted to do some bread, if you had to make bread, if you wanted to make biscuits, whatever you wanted to do, chocolate cake, hey, there you go. It's a grid down situation. Might as well eat away and be happy. So you can buy one of these, connects right to your Coleman stove, and boom, you got an oven. Now, in any one of these set here products, you got to make sure that you have some way to light them. Correct, people? So you have your matches, you have Bic lighters, you can get these grill lighters, which are really great, and... You just want to make sure that you have several different ways to light these products so that you can cook and maybe see what you're doing in the meantime. Now, let's move on over here a little bit. And let me just adjust the camera. Hold on with me, folks. All right, we're just going to move over just a little. We're doing this in a little bit of segments. All right, water. Like I talked about, there was 14 million people without fresh drinking water okay they were under if they did have water it was under a boiled order situation and everything else so you want to make sure that you have stuff all right a life straw very cheap very easy to use and you get fresh clean water all right you can pick these things up right in walmart they're not that expensive at all so it's a very very good thing to have in your emergency pack first aid you want to make sure that you have all types of first aid now, I've done videos on a lot of all these different types of products, but we're talking about what you need as a basic plan that you can go by to make sure that you have some things. Now, this is just a kind of a rundown of some of the things that you may want to have 
in your emergency supplies. For one, it just gives you an idea. For two, you can add anything you want to any of this. This is just to get you an idea and get you people thinking. Now, another situation. You may want to pick up one of these here tools right here. All right. This is your water and gas and utility shut off. All right. A lot of people during this storm that they had in Texas, all right, they couldn't turn their water off at the main and the water was just gushing through their ceilings and floors and everything else. And they had a huge mess. If you would have this tool here, you can go right out to your main. You use this in right here. You put it down in there. You twist. And guess what, folks? Your water is shut off and your situation has become under control. This is your gas shut off. Either one of these, depending on what type you have. All right. These little tools right here, you can get them on Amazon. Less than 12 bucks. Now, you want to get into make sure that you have some lighting and things so let's adjust the camera again I'll be right so in an back. emergency type situation remember you're gonna need some type of lighting okay now you can get all different types of lights and stuff but you know what I would really suggest is making sure that you have a good headlamp maybe even a backup to your headlamp all right in case this one goes dead you can charge it and then put the other one on having something that gives you hands free folks this way here, if you got to work on something, fix something, do something, do anything, all right? Your hands are free, both of them, not just one, both. And it just makes things so much easier, all right? You can also go, I did a review and stuff on these, on the gear light, all right? These are great, sturdy, waterproof flashlights, solid metal, everything else comes with the great pouch right here. That will tell it straight to your belt, all right? <clears throat> Then, you want to make sure that you have an emergency radio of some type, okay? Whatever one you want to pick up. It doesn't matter. You can spend as much as you want. I mean, they range in prices from, you know, 10, 15 bucks up to whatever it is. You know, 80, 100 bucks. It just depends on what you want. But you can pick up a small little radio like this for under 20 bucks, and you can get all the emergency information that you're going to need to get through the catastrophic event that is taking place. All right, you can also pick up a Bofang. You can get your weather reports and everything on here. You can talk on this in an emergency, all right? If it's not an emergency, if you don't have a, the proper license, you cannot speak on this. But in an emergency type situation, you can talk on this radio. Remember that. Something else you wanna make sure that you may have, all right? Some type of walkie-talkie communication between you and somebody, say, in somewhere else, in your house. Say you're outside, you're working, or, the, you know, somebody had to go do something or whatever else. These have a 10-mile radius on them. They work very well, and they're made by Motorola. I've had these things for 20 years, and they still work great. There's no need to buy anything new because they still work. The range is still good. One-time investment. This way here, you can communicate between... Now you want to make sure that you have some knives, all right? A good sturdy knife to make sure that you can do whatever you may need to do. All right. Something that is going to take a beating and make it through and help you out in your situation. Pocket knife, Swiss Army pocket knife has all kinds of attachments and stuff. You know, that's a good tool to have because you can carry it right in your pocket or just a regular one blade pocket knife. Doesn't really matter. Now, moving on back here. All right battery backups and battery banks whoa we almost lost that one all right you can pick up all different types in any different price range and everything else the biggest thing is is you have something where you can charge it with solar panels all right and you can still charge your cell phones you can run your internet you can do whatever as long as the lines and stuff you know aren't down there's different things that you can do with these things you know, they come in handy for a lot of different projects and everything else. Most of them all do have like UBS ports, uh, a, a regular plug and everything else. And it just depends on what you want to spend. All right. This is a Rock Piles 300. And this one here, it's a, just a Go Power Plus. It's 100 watt. But hey, you know, it's better than having nothing. Then you also want to make sure that you have batteries to run all anything and everything that your batteries may, you know, may require your batteries to make sure that you know your radios and lights and flashlights and everything else make sure that you have enough batteries to run those said products because if the power is going to be out for quite a while you want to make sure that you have some way to get the power to the small equipment that you need 
to make sure that you can survive. Now, something else that I would really highly suggest for most people, <clears throat> you don't think about this. All right. Backup. This is an external hard drive, one terabyte. All right. You want to make sure this way here, you can back up everything on your computers and everything else, and you can put it all on here. You can put it into this bag right here, which is a um, EMP bag that I purchased online. All right. And this will protect this from an EMP or power surge, power anything. And it's safe. It's not waterproof, but it is protected. You could store this in a waterproof container. All right. Now let's adjust the camera a little bit for a few more quick now, items. In a given situation where there was 14 million people without water, you saw them filling up milk jugs. Okay. And how many times do you have to keep walking back and forth to that one spigot that is working at the end of your block to get water? All right, so you want to make sure that you have some of these containers right here. You can pick these up at Walmart. That one's a five gallon. That's a six gallon. All right, I just brought two in. I've got four of these. All right, but that's to give you enough water to last you for a day or two. All right, then you move on over. You know, you want to make sure that you have different sized tarps. All right, having different sized tarps can come in real handy. Say your roof got damaged or anything else. You know, at least you got some way to patch it or something like that. And if you had to set something up outside to cook under, you could set up a quick little tent system where you could put up your all, all your cooking gear and everything else. And this way here, you have someplace dry to cook. All right, your 72-hour food bucket right down there. Building your own is very simple, very easy. I mean, it's, it's just a no-brainer, folks. All right, I've done videos on them. They're really easy to do. Build your own 72-hour kit, and this way you have one. All right, let's just scroll right on over. Emergency backpack, all right? Your go bag, whatever you want to call it, all right? Something that has everything in it that you can need to survive because you just don't know what's going to happen in an emergency type situation now, do you? So you need to make sure that you have some way to make sure that if you can just grab that bag, you may survive for at least a few days until you can get to a safe place. Last on the list right here, that thing right there is a air pump. All right, you never know if you're gonna get a flat tire, you run over something, anything like that, you might wanna make sure that you have some way to plug your tire and that there would also air your tire up. Now that, that, diff that compressor right there will air up anything from a regular car tire to a tractor tire to a truck tire all different types it has all the different attachments and everything else you can get that on amazon for about 50 bucks so this has been some of the things that you may need in an emergency type situation okay folks it's just some stuff that you want to make sure that you have this isn't written in stone this isn't like you know, you have to buy the exact products that I have. This is to give you an idea, to get you thinking of some of the things that you need and that you're going to need to get through that catastrophic event that is certainly going to happen again because with the whole grand solar minimum going on, we saw how close Texas came to a total grid down collapse. And it was just, what would you do? How would you provide for your family? That is the number one question, folks. So if you have any questions on any of these products or anything, reach out to me. Put them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And this way here, you can secure your family's future in being prepared. A little bit is better than nothing, right? So until next time, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. <laughs>